Well, this morning we're at the U.S. Army Aviation Museum at Fort Rucker, Alabama. And we're getting ready to go inside and have a look around and all the static displays here. I think they have over 60 um, aircraft displayed in and around the museum. Hey, it's a great place to visit. Come on down. Yeah, the museum is open to the public, and all you have to do is stop at the uh, entrance to the gate at Fort Rucker, and you can come in and visit, and I'm going to take a tour here in just a few minutes, but this is the gift shop. It's got all sorts of different things, aviation related, helicopter related, pins and various mementos, but it'd be a great, great Saturday afternoon or whenever to come and visit the museum. Beautiful. Okay, we're going into the museum now. And we're going to video some of the static displays. Great. Great place to visit. Come on down, Fort Rucker, Alabama. Some of the earliest fixed wing, that is the, I believe the 1909 Wright Flyer. And then some of the other, I'll do a wide pan of those in just a minute. Beautiful display at Fort Rucker, Alabama. Come on down and visit. You can get a visitor pass and enjoy all of these beautiful aviation models. These are some of the early fixed wing biplanes that are on display here. We are at the U.S. Army Aviation Museum in Fort Rucker, Alabama, and we're going to do a little tour over here today of some of the helicopters they have on static display and some of the other things that were in like Desert Storm and so forth. And later on we're going to go out to the training field where they are, where they practice, uh, where they train to fly the helicopters here at Fort Rucker in Alabama. It's a beautiful base. A lot of great history here with all these planes. And we're coming over here. There are two Cobras. And uh, on display. And then over there in the corner, you really can't see it. I'm going to go over there in a minute and get it. It's the uh, a Black Hawk that was actually in combat in Mogadishu and it was actually in combat and it's from the movie Black Hawk Down so if you've seen that movie you'll know about all about that but anyway we're gonna look at a few more planes here some of the weaponry What we have here is a Black Hawk helicopter that was actually in combat in uh, Mogadishu. If you've seen the movie Black Hawk Down, uh, you've actually seen this helicopter. It was hit with an RPG and you can see it smoking. Uh, it actually didn't crash, but uh, almost. And this is another view of uh, the Black Hawk helicopter. What a combat machine. The instrument panel of the Black Hawk helicopter that's on display here at the museum in Fort Rucker, Alabama. What a great place to come and visit.
this is a UH-1 Iroquois nicknamed Huey. It's a Vietnam era helicopter and what you're seeing is a replication of combat in the Vietnam era. And then uh, this is a UH-1 Huey uh, medic unit which would be seen in combat and going out to rescue wounded soldiers and so forth. Their very first presidential helicopter that was used by Dwight D. Eisenhower, much like Marine One is today. Yeah.
thumbnail visit to the U.S. Army Aviation Museum at Fort Rucker, Alabama. If you like this video, hit the like button and subscribe too. The museum is open to the public Monday through Friday, Fort Rucker, Alabama. Come on down.